Metropole TVKE across all your social media platforms. 20146 is your SMS line. Get talking to us in the studio this morning. This is your official sector trend. Now today, in this day and age, providing an online presence to your business is the best gift you can give to your business. But what is the impact and what is the relevance in it? Well, let's understand that. Now joining us to help us answer the importance of that is Samuel Kagwe, who is the CEO of Huduma Connect Limited. Samuel, how are you doing, sir? Thank you, sir. Karibu sana to Metropole TV. Thank you for hosting me. All right, let's begin by just knowing who Huduma Limited is before we understand the intricacies around taking your business online. Um, I will say Hudumia Connect Limited uh, yes. is the company that is that owns hudumashop.com platform. Yes. So we are predominantly defined by that platform. However, uh, it is in our plan to have more platforms in our portfolio that connect various uh, business people yes. around Kenya. Yes. So I will uh, define what hudumashop.com is. Hudumashop.com is a platform that connects service providers and service users. Yes. So as long as you're offering any service in the Kenyan marketplace, you can go to the platform and you can be able to get access to the wider market. Yes. Yeah. Let's understand exactly, you're, you're mentioning something quite important that once you go to the platform, then you can actually get access to any service that you need. Is it a pool of professionals who are sourcing for customers around the, uh, on the site? No, it's, on, it's not only a pool of professionals. Yes. If you're offering any service, we are I not see. discriminating whether you are uh, a, a small scale service provider such as a, uh, you have a beauty salon or you're doing a transport business with your vehicle or you're a marketer professionally. Yes. If you're offering any service, you can be able to get access to the platform. Pretty much. And, 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 and how do you go about getting it? And is it customers who are supposed to visit that service, that platform, and then they can locate for the services? Yeah, generally the yes. idea the idea is uh, if you need a service, you're going to look for the service provider. Mm. Now, the conventional or the traditional methods by which we used to do this was to go to our friends, our families, mm. and then ask them. Asking them. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but, yeah. but now Mtuwa. living in this day and <laughs> yes. age, yes. it is important. Um, I, we have made it easier. Yes. So that you just need to go online and get someone from around you at your preferred price point. Isn't it? Yeah. At your preferred price point. So yeah. are you allowed to actually see who can give it to you at a cheaper price point? Yeah. Once you go upon to Upon entry, isn't upon it? Upon entry. Yes. We've made the platform very easy such that you don't need any technical background or any uh, background in technology to know how to operate the platform. I you just go and enter your service, you yes. choose the location, and you choose the price that uh, you feel comfortable with. Yes. And then the results are going to bring you the service providers who have registered in that price point. Yes. For that, for that price point, sorry. So uh, once you, you have selected someone based on maybe the introduction to their account, we like to call those accounts online offices for service providers. I see. So we allow them to, to have a small office introduction where they can maybe say, hey, welcome to my office. Um, I offer this service at this price. I'm sure we are not going to disagree on, or something. So once you click, once you have identified the service provider that you're comfortable with, you can be able to access their contacts. You can actually be able to also access their social media accounts. Yes. Um, you can be able to, to, to verify, if I may, because uh, one, one characteristic of obtaining service, services from online platforms has been uh, you get conned, uh, to say the least. Yes. For example, a personal experience, I've been conned more than 10,000 trying to look for a service online. Wow, wow. So that is part of what inspired me to actually create this platform. So it's a personal experience that led you to creating that yes, platform. Yes, that and many it? other reasons. Yes. Uh, let's talk about business to business relations as well. Do you cater for that as well on the platform? Yeah, um, uh, predominantly, uh, I deal with the service providers. I see, I see. The service providers are the group of people that have to register on the platform. Yes. As I used to say, you don't need to give any of your personal information to yes. get a service provider. So as a service uh, provider, um, we require from you uh, three, uh, two, two, sorry, two classes of information, your personal details and your business details. And, your business details. and we would actually prefer if actually your business is registered in Kenya because j just to make it more genuine you you don't have to actually register a company you can actually just register a business name that will make you very 
uh, I mean, legit. It will, yes. be, it will be more legit than just someone who's registering without a business name. Pretty much. Talk to me about the way in w which you've seen sort of Kenyans use your service. Can you say that at some point you were in good demand as from when you started? Um, Elijah, we did not launch uh, very far off. We launched on January 11th this year. That is this year? That is this wow. year. Wow, interesting. Yeah, so yes. I was as I was telling you, one yes. of the reasons that led me to create the platform was coronavirus. Because corona changed actually the way people... The way in which we do business, seek, isn't it? Yeah, yes. it changed mm -hmm. everything. Yes. So I observed that uh, uh, a family friend was trying to look for someone to play her daughter's hair. And she could not get that person because there's no way to get uh, such a provider if you don't know someone directly. Or somebody who knows somebody who knows yes. <laughs> Alternatively, yes. you would have to walk outside, uh, maybe if you're looking for uh, a taxi or a transport business, a transport provider, you'd have to walk to the stage and then start asking around. But really what you're trying to avoid is uh, the, the contact because of the risk of COVID. I see. So that changed everything and it inspired me to create the platform. So uh, for service providers, this also gives them an advantage because they actually, it is cheaper for them, first of all, uh, in, in terms of marketing. And yes. they, they get access to a very wide market. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. So talk to me about the consumption so far, as from January 11th up to now. Has it been promising, you were saying? Yeah, we have, we have had actually very promising growth. Yes. We have around 100 service providers registered on the platform as at now. Yes. And we've had more than 3,000 service users actually visit the platform to try and, and seek services. Maybe some have been un unsuccessful because we only have 100 service providers. And uh, that is why we are kicking the campaign and encouraging more service providers to actually register on the platform. Yes. This shift online, so I'm going to ask you that as well, because I've really asked from time to time, is it temporal or do you expect it to be a long-term stay? <laughs> I, I think unless we live uh, in one of our neighboring countries where the government <laughs> can decide to shut <laughs> off the internet, I think yes. uh, we are not going back. Yes, uh, It is dictated by the times in which we live in. If, uh, even when we are going to move to the next era, it is going to be founded on the digital era that is currently at place. Yes. So I don't think there is any, there is any fear we should have with regards to having an online presence. It is very important, and I'll, I'll give you three reasons why it is important. Yes. The first reason uh, is what I've mentioned stems from uh, the current age in which we are as a population of the globe. Currently in Kenya, uh, the, the internet coverage is about 90%. This means that 9 out of 10 people at some point during the day, they are going to go online, whether on social media, whether on some website, they are going to go online. So it is important for you as a service provider and even as a product seller to, to be present where the attention of your potential customers is directed. And that is online? That is online. Yes. The second reason is growing your brand. Growing a brand entails constant communication with your customers and with your potential customers. Now, the alternative to, to growing a brand offline is usually very expensive. But if you have an online presence, it will be very easy for you to communicate various things with your customers. It will be very easy for you to teach your, your customers various things about the service that you offer. Yes. You know, selling is not only about offering your services and just giving out your products for money. It is also about educating the people to which you're selling to. Yes. You tell them, this is how this can improve your life. So having an online presence will really help you grow that brand. The third reason, is safety because of coronavirus, to say the least. Yes, and now there are fears that it might be endemic despite even the vaccines that yes. are going around. So people are still going to continue observing and, and, and sticking to that shift. Definitely. Good. Now, the intricacies of taking your business online, and I'm going to ask you that, Samuel, because I think now you're well versed in that area. For smaller business, let's think about the someone who has a service that I think it's a service that people need. I've got something special about it. I need to put it online. What do you begin from? Um, like any other business, you begin by registering it. Yes. So that you don't get on the wrong side of the law once you start making money. Yes. The second thing that you do, you can conduct a, a market research. You know, I'm going to give you a disadvantage uh, or one wrong way that people are, are going about putting their business online. We, people just imagine that you just have to go and create a Facebook page 
and then which was actually my next question that's it. Uh, l l let me can i can i phrase it differently phrase before <laughs> before you continue because I've, i'm looking at it from uh, the, the, there's this talk that well you don't need to spend a buck in terms of, of of putting your business online i mean they're saying well there are open platforms for you to go in and market yourself they say now you can promote your business on facebook or on instagram on twitter there's so many TikTok nowadays is there with us there's so many avenues in which you can take your business online is that what you need to start from as a smaller business before you start expanding into other areas as well? Uh, that's a good question. Yes. And um, I certainly appreciate the presence of such platforms because they are what, uh, these platforms are, uh, I would say they have set, the, the, they have given us the leeway to be able to create the platforms such as Uduma Shop. Yes. However, if you just create a, a Facebook page, you can even purchase an ad, but chances of you wasting your time and your resources are very high if you don't know what you're doing. Because uh, you're going to put your service out, but the wrong people are going to be seeing that service. If you are not aware that you need to actually uh, uh, make the right target market to, to see your service or your business, you're going to end up wasting resources, you're going to end up wasting your time. So what you have actually done for the platform once you have created an account and once you have upgraded it to premium account, we actually do the marketing for you on social media. Yes. We have experts who can target the right market according to the service industry that you're in. Yes. So it becomes very easy. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's quite important for you to leave the market into the marketing experts. Is that exactly what it is you're, you're saying? Well, not really. Yes. Uh, I mean, we live in an age where information is very available. Mm -hmm. So with some little research, yes. if you go to YouTube and uh, try to investigate how do people set Facebook ads, I'm sure you're going to come up with valuable intel. You're going to, to, to get valuable information on how to do it. But really, if you're worrying about your business, if you're if you, if you a small business, that means that you're the person running it from day to day, right? So that means you're going to have very little time to actually deal with the marketing. Yes, yes. So chances are that you're going to end up doing something very minimal and then uh, throw a bunch of money there hoping that it is going to sort it out. Yes. But the truth is that does not work. Yes. I have had uh, multiple businesses when I was in campus and I have tried that, m that, that path and it did not work out for me. Being the boss of everything, isn't yes. it? Yes. Even as you are online as True. well. Okay, let's talk about that as well, the cost implication. Smaller businesses would rather keep that little money they have to improve their stocks, to sort of continue re re retaining their sales and, 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 and where, as opposed to using it directly in marketing and, and going online. What, are there respectable percentages that you gotta talk about when you're talking when you're talking about taking your business online when cost is an aspect as well? And which are these cheaper areas that you can start from? And now let me rephrase it like this as well. There are open platforms. You can get a free website nowadays, the templates and all that. Is it possible that you could begin from there, making it a cheaper option before you graduate into your own specific domain? Elijah, I'll say this. If you want to build something valuable, you must be willing to put in your money. Yes. You must be willing to put in the cost. So you might go and get that free website, but are you aware that there are millions of websites that you can access? So how is someone looking for your service going to hear about your, uh, about your website so that they can click it? How is someone going to come across your, your Facebook page? You know, when you just buy an ad without... Uh, or doing some research or yes. background research about it. Yes. You're just hoping that someone who's on, on Facebook uh, perusing and trying to look for something to make him laugh is going to come across your catering business and then they'll be like, oh, I need a, a catering. Uh, I need a <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. Yes. Someone has to be actively looking for someone who's providing that service. Yes. And you can be sure that when someone comes to Huduma Shop, they're not coming there to get entertainment. They're coming there to get a service provider. So in essence, you need to put in the cost 
you cannot just go with the cheaper options. Other, otherwise, you're not going to grow. Yes. You're going to remain stagnant. You're going to get the small-scale customers that you've always had. You're not going to uh, have access to the wider market. Yes. All right, paint for me the picture of what you think the online space in the country would be somewhere else. Because I know you, 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 you said, well, your biggest um, experience was getting conned online. I'm going to ask you about that as well. And also the coronavirus pandemic. Let's to me about 2021 how is it going to be in terms of the smaller businesses that are getting online and talk to me about that competition point as well because now everybody looks as if they're going online as well because there's this lesson that if you're not there then your business is not business at all in 2021 well the the steps that we're taking in 2021 yes. or the trajectory yes. that uh, the market is taking in 2021 has been set by what was present in 2020. Yes. And that was being ex exclusion, basically. People had to resort to online so that they could maintain their, uh, generating their revenue or revenue for their businesses. Yes. So that precedent that has been set is not going to go away anytime soon. And my, my thoughts are actually, the market is actually going to capitalize heavily on that. And that, that explains what you have said, that most people now or most businesses are moving online. Yes. But you don't want just to move online. Let me add that. If you move to the wrong platform, you're not going to get the right customers. Yes. You know, um, the different platforms cater to different categories of customers. For example, if you offer photography services, it would be best, it would be very advisable if you had a, an account on Instagram because people go there to check photos. Yes. But it will not be best for you to, to have such in, on, on maybe say LinkedIn or you need to actually ha be on the right platform. Yes. On TikTok, it will cater for some other service or some other businesses. So basically, what I'm saying is the precedent that has been set in 2020 is going to continue into 2021, and I'm thinking even beyond. Yes. So I would advise those business people who have not moved online. I think it is high time. You know, one big challenge that uh, I have seen in this business is that is the culture that we have as a country. You would get the older populations thinking that uh, the dot-com thing is, is negative. They, yes. they, 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 they make it to be negative. Yes. And I would not blame them because their, their perceptions have been, uh, have been shaped by their previous experiences and what they have heard from others, which is really getting, getting conned. You go trying to look for a kahaya, Someone from committee is the one who's calling you. <laughs> and, yeah. Yes. All right, which sets up my next question. I've just confirmed the last part of our conversation this morning. That aspect of making sure that when you are online, you are trusted. I mean, if there's so many businesses, if there's a multiplicity of these businesses online, there's that aspect of making sure that anybody who's going to look at your service would therefore believe, uh, uh this is legit. How do you cut that mark? Have you represented your shop? Let's begin from that. Yeah, so um, the, the, the first way that you ensure credibility is what I stated, that you must register your, your business or your company yes. with the Kenyan government. Yes. That makes it legitimate to start with. Secondly, you need to have an online presence where you can regularly update what you're doing with your business. For example, if you get, uh, if you offer event services and you get uh, an opportunity to serve someone during their wedding, go, go and document that, take a few photos and then post on your Facebook page. And then if you're on Uduma shop, you can actually attach that link to your social media. I see. So that if someone comes there, they can be able to, to, to check yes. and actually identify that you're a legitimate business. That's it. So it means that you have to always yeah. attach some sort of verification with your True. customers. If they click on that, they can say that you're actually a running business. It's tricky because it's not like products where you're just going to post something yeah, physical. I see. <laughs> so you have to be consistent. Yes. You yes. have to actually uh, document that. And it, it should not be once in a blue moon. You should do it even Continuous daily if possible yes. Yes. or weekly. Yeah. Pretty much. Samuel, CEO, Hudumia Connect Limited, thank you very much for thank you, taking your time to speak to Metropole TV. Now you do know, it's really spoken on very important points on why it's important for your small business to be online and what coronavirus has taught us as an economy and what you need to do for people to actually trust that you are a legitimate business in that online space.
well, take him back to the time that he came into the studio live on YouTube at Metropole TV KE. And any questions that you may have, even on hudumia.co.ke, uh, you don't know what to do, talk to us here. We shall speak to him directly as well. We take a short break. Once we come back, your economic review for the day.